Hey folks, welcome back to another HP Gaming Game Link video. We have a Kickstarter unboxing for you today, something that we are very, very excited about and a subject matter that is very, very passionate and close to our hearts. Uh, we are going to be uh, battling it out, duking it out, flinging some cards, most importantly, rolling some dice as we take a look at the absolutely epic Marvel Dice Throne. Hello again, all my friends out there in YouTube land. Thank you very much once again for joining us. For those of you who don't know me, and you should by now, my name is Matt, and with me for the first time in a little while is my junior gamer, Charlie. And she is on school holidays at the moment, so we thought we'd utilize that time last to get week, through you mean? the last week. Yes, we've been undergoing a kitchen renovation and all sorts of other crazy stuff. So it's good to have her with us today. As we said in the tease, we are taking a look at Roxley and the Ops Marvel Dice Throne. This is a limited edition battle chest collector's edition um, extraordinaire, and we are very excited to get into this one. Champion edition, I think it's called. Me. Uh, it's the it's meant to play um, two to eight or two to six players, I think, in 30 minutes or so, give or take. Uh, age 14 and up, but um, <laughs> Charlotte will be able to make that work, I'm pretty sure. Well, I've watched the Marvel movies, so of course. <laughs> so of course, of course. Well, not all of them. Not all of them, that's okay. So this is my baby. we have a few extras for you today as well, but we'll talk about those as we get closer. Most importantly, let's just rip the plastic off because, yes, I know, I know, settle down. Wait, wait, watch your fingers, Aww. watch your fingers. I've got a knife. I know. The most exciting bit is the plastic that has to go on the floor. Uh, we are going to rip that off there. I'm going to cut down here. Now, while this is our first dice throne um, purchase, we know a little bit about it. We know basically how it all sort of works. Effectively, you roll dice three times, mm -hmm. use cards in your hand, and then do damage to your opponent until you are the last one left standing. Yes. Which will be a me, because my dice throne is awesome. Well, grab the plastic. Plastic goes. On the floor. That's right. Now, I will say I usually do suck at dice games as Charlotte will well has already told you however as much as this is dependent on dice rolling there is also a bit of strategic card management which means that I may I may be in with a bit of a shot uh, we'll have to see what Me. happens uh, first and foremost though I think we should get this to the table what do you reckon yes. yeah <laughs> I think Charlotte's excited let's have a look here we go so we're gonna flip this around first and foremost I mean the artwork on the side of the box Miles Morales Scarlet Witch then you have all of our friends here, Captain Marvel, and you've got Black Panther, who is your personal favorite, yes. I believe. The cover of the box is just epic. Look at all those guys battling it out. You've got Black Widow, Scarlet Witch, Black Panther, uh, Doctor Strange, Loki. Captain Marvel, Loki is there. Uh, Spider-Man, Thor. That's, that's Miles Morales and Thor, uh, and then all, uh, they all feature around the box as well. The back of the box just shows contents. There's not the art on it. It's literally just content material. It's nothing else. But first and foremost, let's, oh my oh. gosh, it's huge. Now, this is, as I said, oops, excuse me, the Battle Chest edition. Oh my gosh, it's massive. It is massive. I know, I know. Let's have a look. Let's shuffle along here. We're going to get the box. And when I pop that, just up over here. Oh, okay. First and foremost, let's have a look. The inside of the box has some epic, epic content in there. This epic battle mode. I'll show you in a second, Charlotte. Um, she's just not tall enough to peer over the side of the box. So, that must be the dice tray. The dice tray, you reckon? Yeah. Maybe we could use okay. it as a dice tray. That's okay. fair enough. Let's put this back up here on display. Just in case the dice goes everywhere and they're magical. Well, we're not going to play with Charlotte, so the dice won't... Uh, sorry, with Blair, so the dice won't go everywhere, so that's fine. Uh, silica gel, very important not to eat that. That will go on the floor. Uh, and yeah. then we have the dice chest here. Let's just move this to the side. So we've got here... All different trays for all the heroes, which makes unboxing a little bit of a non-event because they're already sort of into everything. Purple is Black Panther. Yes, so that's the other thing, Charlotte. You pointed that out. On the side of the box there, I don't know if you can see running along the side here, is all the different heroes. And you yeah. can literally grab your tray out of the box and the side gives you an indication. In fact, let's pop that up on the overhead so you can see the epicness that is dice thrown there. Yeah, that's out. okay. 
Black Widow, Doctor Strange. So you can literally pick the tray that associates with your hero, which is brilliant. All right, let's, shall we start at this end and just work our way along? You want to start with Black Panther? Can I draw him it out? Uh, you can draw it out. Hang on, let's do it this way, because that way when you draw it out, it's going to be a bit more obvious which one it is. Go on. Oh. I do like that the plastic insert has these grooves as well, so you can see, you know, which way they all fit and everything else as well. <laughs> all right, Black Panther is on display. Uh, this is also uh, one that features heavily with game trays, so mm. you know, very good, awesome stuff. Uh, and then we've got, in fact... Oh, up, look, it matches it. Yeah, lift up Black Panther. We're going to pass this one over here. Oh. So Just so we've got a bit of light. We're going to move that box around too. Pop Black Panther down there. Can I open it? Yeah, go for it. Let's do it. Let's see what's in the box. I hold everything up because my Black Panther okay, is my we'll favourite. See. Black Panther is your favourite. So there you go. You've got this tray here. And I believe it's a fold-out board. So you have a look and see if you can grab that one out. Yep, what have we got? Double-sided fold-out <laughs> board. Wakanda forever. Hold it flat so everyone on the overhead can see. So you've got here different um, abilities that I'm you've got here. I'm a fighter, here. not a slaver. Not a saviour. Wakanda forever. Gain vibranium suit and three kinetic energy, then deal 11 damage. <laughs> Black Panther means business. My so kind of murderer. Your kind of murderer? He's not a murderer. He's yeah, a fighter. He is. Yeah, he is. Now, the good thing about this is too, Charlotte, with these abilities here, you can actually get cards from your deck that potentially upgrade those abilities so you can do more damage with less so like dice. these are level zeros or something or ones and then like there's cards and then i collect them level twos yeah pretty much as i understand it yeah so you can have that all lined up the back of the boards uh have just a bit more comic art yeah. on there which is cool um what have you got in there next one uh electric city electricity uh different dice values that looks like it's a little Ooh. tray board Vibra suit. Vi vibranium suit and kinetic slash, energy slash slash because each of the Panther. heroes this is what's awesome each of the heroes have their own set of dice with their own custom symbol yes. so it's not a set of dice that's the same for everybody they're all different different colors everything which is fantastic so on this one you've got a little tray which gives you a bit of a rules clarifications of the complexity and gameplay he's got a rating oh, of and two look, he's got his own yeah, so you can split it all up. We've got the dice, we've got cards. Let's leave the dice to last. Aww. So you've got a combat tracker there. Combat. So he's on 11 points, but obviously as you get hit injured, you move that down until you've only got the one hit point left or zero, and then you get KO'd or knocked out of the game. Maximum of 15, all which right. is cool. That's a nice high quality durable marker. Hope you see that on the overhead. What have we got here? Oh, that's combat points. That's not health. That one's the health tracker. Wait, am I health? And, uh, Hold it up so everyone can see what's going on. Okay, that's cool. So you've got a little health tracker that tracks how many hit points you've got. So it must be, depending on the different hero, you might have different... Um, oh, this is up to points. nine health. 96 health points. You're not starting with 96, but maybe we could play a bit of a uh, advantage-disadvantage. So for 98, example... 98? 99? <laughs> those of us that are seasoned gamers who might be brilliant strategists... How might start on less health than someone else who's just starting out. But I can tell you right now, she'll give me a run for my money, that is for sure. Oh, yeah, I'll hey, show you. I have plastic. You can yeah. go on the floor. There we go. And yeah. then we've got some cards. Now, these are cards that are for... There's a turn order card, uh, which is fine. Uh, and then the dice thrown universal back, which is great. Don't mix them up, though, because otherwise you won't know what they're doing. Dark Panthers on 99 health. Uh, turn order and timing of different events, which is fine. And then we have the cards themselves. So you've got... Uh, Yubami, uh, which is discard two kinetic energy to gain a vibranium suit energy. Uh, Vibin, uh, strength of will. Now, I will be skimming through the cards relatively quickly. You but can you always can pause, pause the video. Yes, that's right. Energize, roll one die, gain half the value as kinetic energy. Ooh, kinetic. So you can can like gain kinetic, kinetic sand. <laughs> yeah, sort of, sort of. Uh, Bashinga's on a level two, that's, so you can level um, up the cards. The that's right. Thing. Energy of resourcing two. Ancestral power. Two. Triple threat. So if you roll those three dice, you deal six damage, and then you roll three dice, add one times one of those for every damage that you roll. Meteoric Punch, Stealth Strike, Heart Shaped Herb, Six It, change the value of one of your dice to a six. Better D, a chosen <laughs> player may perform an additional roll attempt up to five dice during their defensive roll when, you, when you're attacked. That's pretty cool. Helping Hand, one more time. Go Wild. Try, try again. And I like how they're all dice battling each other. Yeah. That's no. cool. Getting paid, gain two currency, uh, increase the decrease of value of die. Bye bye. Remove the status <laughs> effect token. Double up, triple up, 
get that out of here. Vegas baby. <laughs> now these these cards here require command points. Yes, there's two CP. Oh, command like you command giant wolf spider. Not quite a giant wolf spider, Aww. but basically what you're trying to do is gain <laughs> command points. And then we've got the dice for the tray, so let's move that to the side. Get them all out of there. How many have you got? Um, one, two, three, four, five. Five, five purple give, dice. Give them a roll. So I got one, two, three, and the two fours. You got two vibranium and three slashing damage. That's quite cool. All right, let's uh, have a look at this. Hang on. We're going to put these ones oh, yes. to the side. Put the back in. How can I fit it? Mm. Oh, that's okay. You're allowed. That's fine. And then you've got a little space there for the decks and everything else as well, because obviously there's other things that get passed um, around. Dice trays. We do next? I think you can actually use the dice tray during play as well, mm. um, rather than just having the board out on its own, which is cool. Who do Let's, you want to do next? Day? I think we should start from the front and work our way back. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, so Thor's next. Grab Thor by Thor's hammer. What if the what if Thor's dice cool. tray was a um, hammer? Okay, that'd be very cool. All right, let's put that on the side. Let's whisk through these. Uh, we've got Thor here. I do like the player board matches up yeah. when you fold it over. That's very cool. I so there's Thor that. there for Asgard by the will of the gods. I am invincible. I am Thor. Thunderbolt. Deal four damage with Mongia. Wow, nasty business. We've got God the character break. board. Status effects. Electrokinesis. Guard break, <gasps> electrokinesis, Mondler. Molnir is the is a companion. That's the hammer. Charlotte. What? Pass me this one. Alright. Oh <laughs> there's the reaction that I wanted. Okay, <gasps> here it is. It's cold, it's cold, it's cold. I'm gonna open that up and get it's that cold. out of there. I know, I forgot about that. That's cool. Did that tell you about that? Yes, they did. So I'm just gonna try and hold that up to the uh, camera there. It says uh, whosoever holds this hammer, if they be worthy, shall possess the power of Thor. <laughs> and I'm holding it right now. Give, no, give it to me, this one. Me. So I think uh, this is actually a, a first player marker um, or something that can be used as a first player marker. If I'm wrong, it will pop up on the video. That's spectacular. It is weighty as hell. It is very heavy, very nice. I like it. I'm digging it. I'm going to put that straight back in the tray. All right, let's have a look. We've got our uh, combat points dial, which is straightforward Thor in the rain. Um, nothing wrong with a wet Thor. Yeah, wet Thor. And then we've got <laughs> the uh, health points as well. Cards for days. Turn order, blah, blah, yeah, blah. Yeah, it's all the same stuff that we saw in uh, Black Panther's one. Yeah. Just we'll have some crazy, crazy stuff. What we should probably do is put them all back as we've seen them, but I think we'll just leave them out for now. We'll have a look and yeah. make how we, how we go along. All right, we've got the turn order card plastic for the floor. Uh, turn order is the same, and then we have Storm Break. Power trip, draw one card, time to hammer, indomitable will, invulnerability, yep, he is worthy, change the value of any one of your dice to a four or a five, thunder wheel upgrade, bottled lightning upgrade, oh my gosh, ricochet, th ricochet thunderbolt, lightning rod, Odin force two, chain lightning two, a lot of upgrades here, probably more than in Black Panther's uh, deck. Mm. And then you've got the st standard cards, so six at helping hand one more time. I think these are all the same yes they are so these cards here effectively but the are the power, same in each deck so yeah but the power cards are not the same right? correct because the powers are all different all right you uh hang on i'm going to roll this one because it's Thor. can we do dr strange after Thor? you want to do dr strange after thought yeah. oh i don't want to pack that up yet i've got to roll the dice <laughs> silly me let's see you've got a couple of fours and stuff i got Four, couple four, of fours. three, two, mm. one. You got Lots the same as me. Yeah, oh, there you go. Sort of. That's it. Didn't get any kinetic energy, but that is okay. Let's have a look and see uh -huh. uh, you know, Doctor Strange next. Yeah, we'll go through that in a minute. Wait, that's Scarlet Witch and that's Doctor Strange. No, that one's Captain Marvel. Yeah, and that one's Doctor Strange. All right, so which one? That's Captain Marvel. Oh, Doctor Strange is this one. All right, what have we got? Pop him down there. Pop him down there. Get rid of that one there. There we go. Stephen Strange ready to cause some craziness with a power cosmic or all, magic. All seeing eye. Yeah. Hold it nice and steady so everyone can see what it looks like. Oh, so you can get a passive effect. Begin the game with the Flames of Faltine spell placed on the Book of Vashanti. Once per turn, prepare a spell from your hand. Ooh. Cloak of Levitation. Yeah. Wand of a tomb. There you go. All right, we've had a look at that one. What else have we got in here, Charlotte? Uh, Let's have a look. So, 
Spell cards. Yeah, Crimson Bands. Crimson Bands. Premonition. Prim and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Deja Vu. <laughs> Wait, look at all the dots. Yeah, so you can have the beauty of foresight as well, which is very cool. Although his complexity is very tricky to get right. Combat points. You show off that one in the health dial while I open up the cards. And we won't go through the whole deck because we know they're going to be the same. We'll just go through the ones that are slightly different. Um, interesting to note uh, that Dice Throne have just opened up on, on Kickstarter their Christmas in July promotion where they are promoting two new heroes, Santa and Krampus. What? So you in have, this? In Dice Throne, yes. So you can have Santa and Krampus duke it out. Or you can have on have Santa take on Black Panther and see who wins. Um, oh, that will probably be... Wait. Santa will throw cookies at us, or maybe he'll puke out cookies because he eats too much cookies. Oh my gosh, maybe we'll have to wait and see. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what have we got? We got the health tracker here. Health tracker. And there's the oh. health tracker there too. Oh. Looking good. Very exciting stuff. I keep we have time after time, a chosen player gains deja vu, cast away, uh, the shield of seraphim, icy tendrils, foresight, gain two premonition. Images of Icon. Now, these are spells, I believe. Fangs yes. of Faralar, Chains of Krakan, Mists of Morpheus, Winds of Watum, Bolts of Balthak, Vapors of Valtor, <gasps> uh, Rings of Ragador, uh, Flames of Faltine, <gasps> and then all the same cards Fire. as well. So they are going to allow for some crazy antics. Now, this is the same thing happened in um, Marvel Champions, yeah. the card game. So the... Um, Doctor Strange deck allows you to have a separate inv invocation deck to cast I spells. I Doctor Strange. Very powerful. Yeah. All right, roll them. What do you get? I usually just play as Black Panther in the game. You do. You do very well as Black Panther. Four, oh, yeah, good four, roll. Four, three, three, and, and a six. six. Good job. Well, that's the end of the game, I think, is to roll sixes. All right, let's yeah. pop these ones back. Uh, who are we going to get next, Charlotte? Uh, Black Widow. Uh, sure, go for it. I think that's and we've got some, I think yeah, it's some punch outs and stuff as well. So that's fine. Yeah, we'll All right, let's get Black Widow. And she's got a black tray because that's just how she rolls. Wait. Get it? Because it's a dice game. Oh, We've seen cool. the movie Black Widow. Haven't we have been? indeed. And here she is in all of her glory uh, with her Widow Gauntlets, Vengeance, Sabotage, Grapple, all of her crazy things. You might think I'm cold hearted. Guess what I am? She's nasty. All right, what have we got? Another tray there. Uh, We've got cover ops, covert, villain, covert ops, yeah. Uh, angler tear and time bomb. Whoa, that's a bit nasty. Stack limit two. Yeah, so you're going to have two of them in play before oh, they the expire. Copper ops is a covert ops is as a stack three. limit three. Well, there we go. A lot of Only dice. one six on the widow on the dice there. What's the combat dice like? Hold them up. There we go. That's so cool. Yeah, and then you got the health tracker there as well, which I... There we go. I do like the indentation in the trays to help get things out as well, which is cool. She's only on eight. She's got the lowest hit points so what? far that we've pulled out of the box, which is very crazy. Um, then we've got assemble, uh, recoil. Actually, I think it's assembly. Uh, subversion, elude, yeah, assembly. undercover mission, cunning, red room training two, <clears throat> sabotage, grapple, vengeance, hacked, Widow's Gauntlets, Infiltrate, Spy Game, Baton Strike, and then all the other cards as well. So I do like that each character or each yeah each character has their own uh, ability deck that they yeah. get to use, which is cool. Uh, Charlotte, dice, roll dice, those for dice. me. I roll all the dice from now on. You can just <laughs> okay, do fine. the other stuff. Make sure they work. What have we got? Uh, one, Ooh, five, five, six, five, and two. I will say this too. One thing I really appreciate, the dice because they've got that swirl and everything else, they're also etched. They're not uh, screen printed. And for those of you who watch the channel will know that I absolutely love etched dice. Getting screen printed dice is, over time, not great because they do uh, decay uh, over time, which is not great. Thank you, choose. I think we should do Loki next, maybe. No, let's do Scarlet Witch because she's crazy. I don't know who Scarlet Witch is. Oh, well, you will learn, my young Padawan. All right. So we have Scarlet Stop Witch. speaking Star Wars. I can't help it. It's just great. Yeah. So you've got Scarlet Witch here, and she has got her fold-out board. I do like the comic book yeah. style as well. There you go, Scarlet Witch. Don't be so quick to judge witches. Purgy. Pure yeah. chaos, that one. Oh. Hex, Bolt, Jinx, Mind Blast. Beer Witch? Beer Witch? I, I cannot... A Beer Witch. I cannot decide <laughs> who I want to use first. Conjurations, Crackle, Reality Warp. Beauty Warp. 
I know. Oh, right. reality warp, not beauty warp. Oh, I like her dice. All right, you grab the combat markers and yep. share them off while I open this one up, please. Yeah. Well, combat let's points. See how many health she has? How many? Forty-four was on when you pulled it out. I don't change it. No, I'm gonna see. Oh, I'm yeah. only nine. Yeah, they go up to ninety-nine on the dial. All right, because that's what happens. All right. Let's have a look at the cards. We've got oh, chaos manipulation. Discard probability manipulation to change the value of any one die. No dice. Warped. Hex shield. Incantation to gain a conjure. Snap and crackle. Double trouble. Pure chaos. Bewitch. Spellcraft. Mind blast. Dark hold. Jinx. Hex bolt. And then all the other standard cards as well. So I do like the idea of being able to use the cards. Daddy, you can roll the dice. Thank you so much. Pop them in my hand here. Hopefully, we haven't dropped any on the floor yet, so that's a plus. Not I've got uh, ooh, ooh, a couple of sixes, all threes. Six. Not a bad roll. I do like her dice. They are, they are cool. Crimson, velvety goodness. I love it. All right, let's whiz through the rest of these. What, what's next, Charlotte? Who's next? The Scarlet Witch is done. Let's uh, play. I'll pop that one there. I'm getting quite a stack now. Oh, Spider-Man, Miles Morales. Spider oh, Spider okay, well I'll help you. There you go. Because we, rude. I know, but you know, don't want to keep people waiting. Um, the goods. Uh, yeah. There you go. Oops. Miles Morales, my spider, spider sense, sense is tingling. Yeah. K -k 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 combo. <laughs> spider Reaper Venom and Venom Punch. Shockwave deal 13 damage. My gosh. Venom Shockwave and Venom Punch. I know. He's pretty powerful, isn't he? All right. Let's have a look and see what uh, else we've got here. So we've got Combo, Webbed, and Invisibility. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Invisibility. He goes invisible, which is very cool. Uh, uh, combat trackers and combat stuff. Combat tracker. Hold it up so everyone can see what the artwork looks like. That's what we're here to do. Here to show everyone the content, not just get excited ourselves and get into it. Okay. I'm pretty sure we're going to be playing this this afternoon, just quietly. Oh, uh, yeah, but we've got a lot of things to do, thank you. I know, I know. What was his total when he came out of the box? Uh, 40-something as well? Uh, That's okay. Did you hold that one up so everyone uh, can see it? Good job. I like that. He's it's not 79. Spy, he's in his uh, spidey pose. Okay. Radioactive blood gain combo tokens. Yikes. Gain invisibility. Nice try. Invisible punch. Ambush, Swinging Escape, Booyah, Web Shooters, Cha-Ching, Milkshake Me, Heal 3 Points, <laughs> Venom Punch, 2 Seasonal Upgrade Cards, Combos, Punches, and then the rest of them. Not as many upgrade cards there, but a lot of cards that will allow a lot of resource generation, so that's kind of cool too. All right, Miles Morales, Spider-Man, roll them. One, three, Ooh. four, five, six. The only one you haven't got is a two. Good yeah. job. Good job. I like the fact that his, his dice have the little um, web slinging symbol, which is very cool. All right, Who's where next? are we going next? There's either Loki or Captain Marvel, and then that's left. the rules. All right, the rule book and everything else, which so, I think is pretty If you choose Loki, I should choose um, right. Captain Marvel. Well, I would like to do Loki, please, because Loki was a great TV show, and I can't wait for season two, because it was just awesome. All right, there we go. Hopefully, we're not getting too many piles up here. We've got Loki on display, that little tricky, oh. mischievous god... Glorious Purpose, Two Antics, Lokis. Vilify, Double, Double Loki. Yep, I like that. That's cool. Uh, Bag of Tricks, Spellbound, Illusion, which is a status effect. So he's going to be more about... What's his complexity for? He's going to be more about doing um, uh, crazier stuff, illusions. Uh, yeah, oh, there's a second deck of cards. Good job. Yeah, he's going to be about illusion and magic and trickery because that is what Loki is good for. Uh, Charlotte, do you want to grab the combat tracker and show everyone oh, what's going on there? I thought you said grab the other no, That's all right. Uh, yeah, and he's on 49 health according to his dial there, which is cool. I think it goes up to 99. They all go up to 99. Uh, um, Hold it up so we see the artwork. It's crazy pose, which is awesome. Then we have uh, Take Baxies, uh, Outwit, Pantaloons on Fire, <laughs> liar liar pantaloons on fire how lovely look loki into my eyes tip the scale to these are all the upgrades double take kneel to me vex vilify confuddle you can see there's a bit of theme here antics mockery if you have three symbols deal seven damage if you have five deal nine damage wow and then the standard cards as Can well. I open this because it's actually a pack. Yeah, all right, open that one up because that's think. a special uh, pack of illusion cards and illusion I'm deck, sure if you will. I'm sure it is though because I opened them. 
Right, have a look. Pass me that one, we'll get rid of that. We don't need that, that's plastic on the floor. Particle sensors. A partial success. Success. Yeah, so it must be you have to draw a card from the deck. Is the next one success or is it a failure? Fail. Ooh. Loki prevents zero incoming damage. So you're attacking your opponent, you can draw from the deck and if or they draw from your deck to see if they do damage to you. Because you could be attacking they could be attacking an illusion rather than someone who's actually physically Loki. That's cool. And look, they have different thirty-three percent chance. No, no, they're all the same back. It's just the front that's different. Yeah. So I guess if you're playing as Loki and someone attacks you, they have to draw from that deck, and if they draw the fail, uh, Loki is is immune effectively. Um, dice rolling, here we go. One, nice. two, two, five, six, yep. seven, a bit of a mesh. I know, I haven't rolled as well as you have. Surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise. Every dice game you lose. Not every dice game, but most of them I do, because I suck at dice rolling games. Even as a dungeon master, I have terrible rolls. <gasps> All right, now, can you grab that last one out there, which I think is Captain Marvel? And then the rules of play, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> well, that's, that's kind of important too, although it is pretty straightforward. All right, let's see what we got. Captain Marvel doing her thing. Carol Danvers. Looking boss. Bill, binary, binary Blast. Gain cosmic ray resistance ray, radiance. and two cosmic flare. Deal 12 damage. That's a lot of resources plus 12 damage. That's a bit nasty. All right, what's next in there? We've got uh, cosmic ray, cosmic flare, radiance. That's all the different uh, limits of stuff you can get. One, so I'm two, tokens. three, four, five, six. Yeah, I like that all the different um, resource faces have names too, which is very, very cool. Punchy girl, punch, punch, punchy. <laughs> punchy girl. What, punch? She is, she is she very punchy. much. She, she does punch quite a bit, I suppose. That's very true. Huh? All right, let's what? have a look and see. Uh, where's the health trait? Uh, health marker, yeah. how's it look? Did you show the combat tracker? Uh, yeah, I did. Just in case you didn't get a good look at that, folks. It was on 10. <laughs> oh, there you go. She's on 10 health? No, she's not. <laughs> Alright, then we have Flickering, uh, Scintillate, Cosmic Shield, yes please, Supersonic, Inner Strength, Shine Bright, Refuel, and then Upgrade Energy Refraction, Light Torpedo, yes please, Supernova, you don't want to go Super Photonic, Gain Radiance and Deal 9 Damage. Photon Punch, there you go, you caught it before, and then the standard cards as well. If I've gone too fast and I've missed some of the standard cards or there's something hiding behind them, I don't think I did, but just if I did, please let me know in the comments. Uh, we'll try and rectify the video. Roll them. Oh, three, five, five. five. Two, three, four. Yeah. I only needed a success. I do like too that on your turn you get three chances to roll, so you can keep some results and then re-roll other dice to try and get the best possible outcome for the spell or the um, attack that you're trying to land. Or the punch. Punch, yep, photon punch, that Should sort I of get stuff. That out? Let's do it. What have we got in there? Well, there's a lot of stuff play. spread out in this place. Rules of play. I open it. I don't know where we open it. Hang on. Hang on. <gasps> punch out. <gasps> punch outs and standees. Oh, and time bombs, time bombs. Yeah, for Black Widow. Gosh, that's a lot of the plasticky smell. Sorry, folks. Where's plastic go? On the floor, on the stink now, it's, floor. it's interesting because usually we start with rule books, but today we've decided to forego all of that in favour of getting into all the actual trays Just and components. Just because we're Marvel fans we and that is very fans. Marvel top. I know, I know. Yeah. Convenient. Who knew? Okay. Uh -huh. Rules of play, version 1.0, Marvel Dice Throne, uh, game setup, uh, basically overview of Just what you've got to do. Her. Uh, be the Yay, last person Black standing. The... Black Panther is featured. Hate reading rules. Watch the tutorial video instead. We will most likely do that. Although Your I hero think board. that's how to describe the different areas of the board, turn hero phases, cards, companions, etc., etc. Et Resolving text, uh, turn effects, uh, timing conditions. That's on the back of that card as well. Let's see if we can see what well. Thor's hammer does. So four player games, three player games, other modes uh, of play. So you can how you break down a turn, how it all sort of works. Down. Credits and timing, conflicts, etc. Biggest thanks goes to you for purchasing this game and helping us to pursue our dream of creating Dice Throne Go Team. So there you go. Uh, quick reference on all the different things there. That's the rules. Mine. Let's have a look at the punch outs, quick sticks. Mm -hmm. What have we got? Let's have a look here. We've got Black Panther. Now it's interesting because we've got the little standees here. But there's no, is there any counters in the box? Nothing in there that you can see? No. Nope. 
there's no actual holders for the standees to stand up. <laughs> which is odd. Wait, maybe you could message the guys and see if they missed any. Maybe, maybe, who knows? We'll have a look. Can I mean, I the punch? counters. Where's Black Panther? Where's Black Panther? I've already punched him out, sorry. Oh. But I'll you've punch. got here, look. I'll punch out Black Panther. You've got then. Black Panther's um, vibranium chain. Uh, these are his kinetic vibranium energy. You've got cosmic powers for Carol Danvers. Uh, so it looks like each board has you know, one or two different things on it. Uh, oops, I've just punched out some extra. So all these tokens, a nice decent chip board. There is Thor's hammer, which obviously we probably won't be using because Thor's hammer is represented by an actual metallic Thor's hammer, which is very cool. But the rest of them um, all look pretty straightforward. There's these nice swirly attack ones there. The chipboard is standard, great quality chipboard. It's going to last. The tokens are plentiful in supply. Um, and we've got a couple of things there from Doctor Strange and things as well. It's interesting, though, uh, that there's no standees. I would have thought that there would have been something to actually hold them up. I'm just going to check the back of the box before we move on. Okay, I'm going to punch because, out most of the videos. Well, don't punch them all out now because we're going to do all that in a minute. Contents. Acry acrylic swirl dice, health dials, tile sheets, combat point dials. No, nothing about uh, standees. Wait, can you So that must these? be, I know, actually, you know what? I know why. Because in the original uh, dice thrones that were made, you could actually get little miniatures just to allow for extra presence. So I think that's like a, 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 a dodgy, not a dodgier version, a lesser version of having a mini on the table. But even then, if it's a mini that has a base, you don't need standy um, plastics. But I would have thought there would have been some plastics in the box for those. That's very odd. Unless I'm totally missing it, missing the mark and there's something else for them. In which case, it'll probably pop up on the screen right about now. Uh, but if it hasn't popped up on the screen, it's because the plastic were meant to be included and for whatever reason aren't in this copy, which is kind of annoying. That's okay though. Let's just put all these quickly to the side here because uh, there's a lot of stuff on the board, on, on the map. Uh, we did, as I said at the outset, have some extra bits and pieces to show you. So Charlotte's going to grab those. Leave the box where it is there. Yep, that's it. Leave that one there. Can you grab those? Grab that. Yep, that's it. We've got a promo pack of cards to show you, uh, which are going to allow us to effectively uh, wreak more havoc uh, on our relative uh, players and things as well, which is kind of awesome. I'm digging that. You right with that one? Yeah. But it's also got a how-to. You can show them. That's fine. Now, these ones are also uh, foiled a little bit as well, which is very cool. So we'll get rid of that. What have we got? So first we've got now, Black Panther. You'll have to huh? shake them a little bit because I don't know, the foil's probably not gonna do justice, but these cards look absolutely schmicko. Uh, Black Panther, so this is a mythic ability uh, mythic. and it gives you uh, more powers, things to roll for, etc. Next card, Black Widow. Again, her mythic ability, uh, active abilities, and then your flip ability because on the card, you can flip them. So the mythic card is there and then inactive and then you flip it over to its active side, which is where all the foil comes from. So what we should do, hang on, just before we do all that, let's go. I'm just popping them there so yep. I can see them. We'll do this. So we've got the promo pack contents, the rules, how to use the card, etc. Um, eight randomizer cards and eight hero promo cards. Can now I the randomizer, the hang on, the randomizer cards allow you to effectively draft the hero you're going to play as rather than just picking your favorite, which I think is cool because it forces you to play random heroes. So hold them up like that. That's Thor's mythic ability inactive. And then when it becomes active, you get that crazy foil effect as well, which is just awesome. Uh, Miles Morales, Spider-Man. Oh, so good. Wait, he's down and then he turns the other way. Yeah, that's right. That's it. We've got to make sure, just give it a bit of a tilt so we can see. Yep, there we go. And then you've got Scarlet Witch. I'll put her down here. And then who's next? Loki. Loki. The camera and the overhead is probably not going to do it justice, but the foils on these look fantastic. So Loki goes down here. Doctor Strange is next. Looking do, boss. Do, 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 Cast it. That's cool with the magic spell. Love it. And then I think we've got a quick glimpse of it before. The last one is... Uh, Captain Marvel. Boom! Wait, so she's good. getting... She's um, getting kind ready. of Charging getting up. ready. And then... And then oh. blast. That's so cool. All right. Now we've Let's got here... There, cool. uh, some extra promo cards that you can use for different heroes. Uh, and it says your promo card at the bottom. Uh, Bast's Blessing. Uh, smoke Screen for Black Widow. Ace Pilot for Carol Danvers, Hosts of Hogoth, 
Dash of Mischief, which is obviously for Loki. Hexalent, I like that for Scarlet Witch. Tingling, because his spidey sense is doing just that. Bifrost. Uh, and then these are the randomizer cards. So they've got just basic uh, rainbow uh, things on the back. You shuffle them up and then you draft the hero that you're going to play as. That's cool. So it means you don't necessarily have to choose. You can play randomizer and no, stuff. That's fantastic. I want to be, I want to be, I'm going to be Black Panther and then Doctor <laughs> Strange and then Scarlet Witch and then Spider-Man then Thor. We, we'll Black just have to wait and see. We'll just have to wait and see. Now there is something else. This is a dice game. Yeah. Which is you know very important. Yes. So to go... It's called Dice Throne, but we also right. have a dice tray because that's oh, just I what we do. Oh, I thought that was the dice tray. No, no. Well, it could be the dice tray. That's fine. So this is a collapsible uh, dice tray with the official branding because... That was really loud. Sorry. That was right in my ear. I know, I know. Um, because it just looks awesome. It's got the emblem. Oops. Upside down. <laughs> the emblem in the middle here. It's got the Marvel logo, Dice Throne. Roll your ultimate. And you will bend. Hang on, careful. You're going to bend them up. And it will go together. Snap. And then snap. Hang on, I'll do it. Yeah, that's okay. It's a bit stiff because it's been in transit and everything else as well. And then you've looks, got a way to like, roll. It looks like a Katan board. Or it's similar to our Katan dice tray, isn't it? So. Obviously, it means it's a place you can take this on the go, have it on a table, your dice aren't going to roll uh, everywhere, I which is fantastic. Can I try with um, Captain Marvel's dice? Captain Marvel's dice? Where is Captain there. Marvel? Yep, let's do it, because they're she yellow on blue, which is cool. I like that. Whoops, I'm just going to try and do this as quick as I can, because... We don't want to break anything. We don't want to break anything. All right, there you go. Oops, okay. you got them. Big roll. Dice tray works. It didn't go away. I'm, I'm just gonna give another crack just because I want to turn two. Yeah, nice. Except your roll was better than mine. True to form. That's fantastic. <laughs> it's so good. You like that? I think we're probably gonna have to get a playthrough in. Yeah. I'm sure you'd like to see that. I guess what we can do is if we're gonna do a playthrough, well, we'll probably have a go later today. We'll probably have to do it on the big table because I don't think this will hold it. No, I don't know. Maybe we'll see. But, but we'll have to. Yeah, instead of us picking our characters, instead of us picking who we want to play as, let's ask them. Let's hear from you. If you think you have a great combination for us to take for a spin that you'd like to see us do a playthrough of, let us know in the comments below who you would like me to play as and who you would like Charlotte to play as. She's hoping you'll pick Black Panther. Uh, and we'll you know, see if we can make that happen Black for Panther, you. Black Panther, Doctor Strange, or Charlotte, which that's all I'll be happy with. Yes, indeed. Now, there's one other thing uh, oh, we have Thor, to do. Very importantly, very importantly. Yes. We have been, with our unboxing, showing you a setup of how it all looks when it's actually on the table, ready to go, and this is no exception. Roll that footage.
And there you go, that's how it looks when it's all set up on the table, ready for action. What did you think of that? I think it looks absolutely spectacular. The colors, the art, the components all look really, really great. I'm very excited to take this for a spin. As we said, we will play the heroes that you would like us to play. So by all means, um, if you want to pop in the comments who you think we should play as. Those of you that are Patreon subscribers, thank you very much for allowing us to do all the crazy stuff that we do. If you have a say, uh, by all means, your vote will count double because you are a Patreon. So by all means, let us know who you'd like us to play as in the comments section below. Um, we should have a Marvel Dice Throne um, Marathon. Marathon? Yeah. What, do it live, you reckon? Yeah. Maybe we can make that happen. Maybe we can stream a game. We'll set up in Wait, here. Wait, are we the only to... ones who've got it? No, we're not the only ones. There's pro probably a lot of people who back this one who are getting their battle chests. But being in Australia, we get ours a little bit after everyone else. So there may already be some people who have unboxed this one. Um, as always, folks, let us know what you think in the comments below. If you have any questions, suggestions, comments, by all means, let us know. We'll get back to you when we can. Otherwise, plenty more content coming your way. We have some epic finale. We're heading towards the end game of Charlotte's campaign through the Lost Miner Fandelva with Dungeons & Dragons. We are getting very close to that broadcasting live every Friday night. We'll see you there. Not every Friday, but... Well, we will be at the moment. Probably maybe maybe one or two sessions left. It's getting down to the wire. The nail-biting finale and Charlotte's character is about to be beset upon by something rather nasty. So tune in on Friday night, 7 o'clock Australian Eastern Time for that one. Uh, otherwise, by all means, keep checking back. We've got more content coming your way. We've got some spooky paranormal stuff coming your way. Spooky. Spooky stuff uh, coming your way. Lots more to love. And there's lots more you can watch right now as well. So have a look around the channel. Yes. Otherwise, get out there, play more games, be social, look after each other. And until then, it is... Bye for, bye for now. now.